That's right, you are now listening to Tommy Tom's One Mic. Warning, this podcast contains explicit language, triggering or sensitive topics, and controversial discussions. Thank you so much for tuning in to Tommy Tom's One Mic. How did you go about, I guess, maybe not so much giving advice, but just talking to people uh, and maybe them having a uh, pre-conception of you or of religion and stuff and like I guess not being not getting frustrated by it if like maybe the message wasn't getting through to them yeah I'd be lying if I said I didn't get a little frustrated at times there's definitely you yeah. know some people that are are out there to push your buttons uh, mm-hmm. and sometimes they do that well and I try to respond with as much you know grace as as I can but uh, again I'm, I'm a dogmatic guy man I, I'm I'm very you know you know uh kind of when it comes to scripture if i if i see something in scripture that that just seems glaringly obvious i'll just point to what scripture says and and if they disagree uh, my my thing is like show show me a bible verse but with people i specifically know um I try to just live my life in, in a way that is reflective of how Jesus lived. And mm-hmm. a lot of people, it, it's actually more off-putting to a lot of people. <laughs> oh, uh, than, yeah. Uh, yeah. Than, than, uh, more people dislike dislike me than like me. And uh, I, But I do think that's kind of par for the course, man. I mean, you know, Jesus wasn't able to... The people in Jesus' hometown didn't really didn't receive him. Uh, mm-hmm. The people that knew him, and I think that's kind of that kind of rings true for a lot of people, is that the, the people closest to you they know your background, they know your history, and it's easy for them to kind of dismiss what you did, uh, you know, w- what you're doing. And mm-hmm. that, in a way, happened to Jesus. You know, the people in his hometown didn't didn't hear his message. Um, so I just try to live my life as consistent with what I believe to be true as humanly possible. And if they have questions, man, I'll answer their questions as long as it takes. Um, and, you know, I'll be that guy that if, if you if you're struggling or you need to, I'll be there to pray for you. I just don't say that. Like if you called me mm-hmm. in the middle of the night and needed a prayer, needed advice, I'd be there. I'd show up. You know, I, I put my money where my mouth is, but I also don't sugarcoat things. You know, so if I see like, you know, well, you know, you're someone's doing something like blazon or brazenly sinful, I'm going to say, hey, like, you got to stop doing this, you know, because it's it's going to land you in a place that you don't want to be. And you know, I've been there. Um, so, yeah, I, I would say, you know, success rate of, of winning over, you know, people close to me, not not particularly high. Uh, winning over strangers, much, much easier. <laughs>